breakup game. You have to assume the worst of people. Okay, um, I say, big dramatic blowout, possibly some names, possibly a drink thrown. No, she goes to the high school reunion. This is a sneak peek of the 12 minute short film called <laughs> Days Like This. It's a romance comedy about best friends considering parting ways. And it will be making its world premiere at the Palm Springs International Short Fest on Friday. And joining us now to talk about it is filmmaker Daniel Angelus. Daniel, thank you so much for joining us Thanks this morning. Thanks for having me, ladies. Good yeah. morning. So you're from NYU. I went to NYU. First yeah. project. Uh, this is the first time directing, yeah. I produced and acted and been in a lot of things, but first time actually being the one that gets to tell everyone what to, what to do, I guess, yeah. How are you cool. feeling about that? I mean, just excited. I feel like, you know, just happy to be invited, really. Um, it's been a blast already, and it's only been the first two days, and so we have our screening tomorrow morning, and yeah, just being pumped. You know, doing a short film, you have to be able to say a lot in a short amount of time, so how were you able to kind of get your whole message or your premise in that short amount of time? Um, for us, it was really, I mean, it starts from the writing, really. And our writer, Molly Nussbaum, was so fantastic. She brought me this five-page script that we ended up extrapolating into an 11-page thing that is the final we see. And we spent, I mean, hours upon hours talking about everything that's not in the script. You know, what, what's their backstory? When did they become best friends? Like, where are they in their relationship now? And all of that. And I think it really shows in the actual work that's on the page. Um, because, I mean, it's like if you're at the park watching two people, you don't know all the history about them, but you can kind of figure it out by just paying attention. Yeah. So what are you hoping people take away after they see your film today? Well, I mean, it's different things. Different people already that I've shown it to have taken away many different things. A lot of people say, oh my gosh, that reminds me of me and so-and-so. And, -so. and mm. uh, just that whole thing of when you're attracted to someone that you know you're not really supposed to be with, um, that kind of thing. Uh, but for me, what it is about is this is a situation that two characters will walk away and a year from now they'll realize that that was maybe a tipping point in their life when, you know, a, a mini coming of age, I guess, they, mm -hmm. where they start to become adults, they start to look at the world a little differently, maybe, you know, get um, just a little more gumption, I guess is the word, yeah. What about it do you think will really resonate with your audience? Well, I guess it depends on what the audience is because we've had <laughs> young filmmakers and we've had uh, retired crowds and everything. So I guess it'll be completely different with everyone. Um, but I mean, the, being attracted to someone is, is something that we all go through. And um, I say that like it's a bad thing, but, <laughs> but you know, just um, balancing the, that situation, I guess. What happens um, at the end? <laughs> what happens at the end? <laughs> well, I guess you'll have to see on Friday, right? <laughs> yeah, we'll have to wait. Uh, speaking of that, thank you so much for joining us. And yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you. So the film screens Friday, 10 o'clock in the morning at the Camelot Theaters in Palm Springs. So go check it out. Looks like a wonderful film. And thank you so much, Daniel, for joining us this morning.